Yo, what is up guys? My name is Prophet and I'm going to try something new today. Some of you may not know, but I'm sort of a master of all trades when it comes to stuff related to cars. I can tune, I can race, I know roughly how everything works, I can put a car together, and I can also make pretty good designs for them. Now, the one I want to do today is the Audi R8 LMS number 2 car, which competed on the twi no on the 18th and the 19th of July in the 24 hours of Spa. In this video I'll be using a bunch of reference photos which I'll probably put up on the screen and also I'll try to make the video not so long hopefully it should be around 10-ish minutes so hopefully you guys won't click off by the end but also if you guys look at the photos and notice that some things aren't quite the same or I've changed some things that's because that I've it was starting to get very late in the day and I really couldn't be bothered to put in all the extra details. I might update this design at a later date, but for the moment, I'm just going to be sticking with what I've done. Let's just roll the clip, shall we? So what I did first was I just went into the paint editor and I picked out the main colour which was going to be used and I went for sort of an aluminium matte colour because at the time that's what looked the most accurate to what it is in real life. Then after that I went into upgrades and I put on all the necessary upgrades such as engine, transmission, made it rear wheel drive, gave it the necessary power which was keeping it stock and then put on all the Forza Aero just to make it look a little bit more similar to real life. Now at first, I picked a lot of the colours which I thought looked accurate, but then when I went back at a later time, I sort of saw that they weren't quite accurate. Now, the green was something I did play around with for a while. I couldn't really decide what was the best colour to use, but in the end, I did manage to find a colour of, well, a shade of green, which I was happy with, and that comes pretty much at the end of this video. Also, you may see me go into my um, pre-created layer groups, because I have already made some layer groups which were used on different designs, and a good example of this was the very first R8 you saw at the beginning of this video which had a lot of the designs such as the Audi Sport logo and the Audi logo. Now with this green stripe at the side, I sort of played around with thicknesses for a, for a fair while, just making it look, just making everything the correct thickness and in relation to where it actually fits on the car. Also, the way I do my designs is I look at where all the lines start and finish in like reference to the car, so I might say, okay, so this starts at this point behind the door, or in front of this vent, or just underneath this window, and that's where I'll sort of base things off of. Now with this sort of like red total logo, it's a like vent cover I think it is, I'm not sure what this part behind the window is. But at first, you saw me do it flush to the window, and then I changed my mind and actually bought it br bought it back because it didn't look accurate. Then this is what I was telling you about the at the start. I wasn't quite sure on what color to use as the main color and then I went back in and decided I'm going to use a semi matte sort of I guess you can call it brush steel
then with this top, I guess, trapezium, it was... I had a little bit of trouble trying to find reference photos that actually showed the position of where everything started and where it all finished. And I did spend quite a lot of time figuring out what the size of this was and where all the positioning parts were. Also, if you can't tell, I'm chatting a lot of bullshit at the moment. Eventually, I did find a reference photo for what the back of this car actually looked like, and that photo was a massive help to me in positioning everything on the back side of the car, because all the other photos that Audi have on their Instagram only showed the front and the sides of the car. In the beginning here, you will notice that I don't really put any logos on, and that's because I haven't made them all yet. So, l towards the end of this video, you towards the end of this video, you will see me start to create all the logos and put them onto the car. But at the moment, I'm just putting on sort of the colours and the background colours for which the logos will sit on. Then sort of finishing this up, just copying and pasting everything from the left side to the right side. And changing a few colours because obviously with Audi's sort of designs, they're not always symmetrical. Again, as you can see here, I'm only putting on a couple of the logos which I have pre-made before. And then quickly here, I just went in and I changed... Now, as you can see here, I just went into Yas Marina because it had some pretty good lighting and it showed me sort of what the actual colours looked like in-game, because for some reason Forza gives us Forza gives us a really crappy sort of environment to design cars in. I don't know why they've done this, maybe it's more because they have focused on the darker weather and they focus more on the rain in this game, but who, who in the right mind is actually going to race in the rain in this game? Then here you can just see that I've gone in and I've started to make some of the logos. First, really starting off with the Pirelli logo. And what I did to make these logos was just, I got someone else's logo which pretty, which looked fairly accurate to what it did in real life. And I just basically copied over it. Now the Pirelli logo was a fairly simple logo to make, and as well this Total logo 
was fairly simple as I had already pre-created basically the first three letters. Now this is a piece I've made before, it is one of the latches which goes on the hood or the bonnet and all it does is just keep the hood closed. So all I did was I just went in and changed the colour of the arrow to what it looked like on the actual Audi number 2 car. And there you go, that is pretty much all the logos I could be bothered to do, and now I'm going to apply them all to the car. Now, as you can see, I've put the total logo in, and I actually also changed the angle of that red vinyl layer, because it really didn't look right in relation to where the total logo was positioned on the hood of the car. And then I'm just putting on the latches and the other total logos which go down on the front bumper. Then here you can see I'm just putting on the Pirelli logos which also go on the bumper.
Now on the side here, you can see I have applied my own version of the racing sticker which goes on the car. Now, I previously created this vinyl layer in Horizon 3, and so I thought, this doesn't look right, I'm going to come back into Motorsport and I'm going to edit it slightly because the angle of the one that goes on the left side doesn't actually look correct. As well, I made the numbers smaller so they didn't really overwhelm the whole sticker and it, it just made it look a whole lot better. Then I went in and put a British flag on the bonnet because that's what I am and I'm sort of putting my own twist on it as if it's my racing car. And as you can see here, I'm just going back onto the design I showed you at the beginning of this video, and I'm just taking off some of the vents which I used on this car, because, funny enough, all the vents which Audi use on the Audi R8 LMS, they're all the same, so I just decided to copy them over, and I was feeling very lazy at the time. Then here you can see I'm paused and I'm just I'm just looking at the reference photos of where all the stickers and everything is placed on the car. And then I'm just doing a couple like go overs of the car of what stickers need to be added and what I've missed out and what I don't really need to put on. Now on this black strip at the bottom I noticed I, did, I didn't really have any logos to fill everything out so what I did was I decided to go and get a Alpine Star logo and an Xbox One logo because I believe, Al I believe Audi actually use Alpine Star racing gear and as well I'm putting it on Xbox because obviously the whole game is made on Xbox. And then I just decided to be a bit lazy and I put on a Total logo and I put on a Pirelli logo because why not? Also, I didn't really feel as though there were that many snap-on logos, so I put another one on the back. Because I spent a lot of time on that logo, and I decided... I'm not wasting all this time just for one logo, so I'm putting it somewhere else on the car. And in the end here, you can just see me slapping on a quick tune, which I used on the car in the beginning. And if you want to use this tune, I'll put it down in the description. I'll put all the numbers there so you can tweak it yourself if you feel as though it hasn't got enough grip or it just doesn't behave how you want it to behave. Because, you know, everyone's tuning style is different and everyone's tuning matches their driving style. So, but this is very, just a very basic tune. So there you have it guys, this is the final finished product of the Audi R8 LMS number 2 car which competed in the 24 hours of Spa de Francorchamps. Now if you're looking at some of the reference photos and thinking, some things don't quite look right, well that's because I'm having to make do with what we've got in the game. Obviously we can't paint on the wing shield, the wind mirrors or the rear wing, so we're very limited as to what features we can put onto the car. Now, as you can see on screen, I've also made the three other designs, which is a light greenish yellow sort of color, the bright red color, and also the white, red, and blue color. And they are all available up on the storefront right now. And I believe at the time of recording this, it's actually got a couple of downloads. So make sure you go download them for yourself, check them out. I think they look personally very, very cool. Also, the cool thing about this is they will all be ported over to Forza Horizon 4 when the game comes out. And make sure to expect some awesome content from me 
for Horizon 4 because I'm going to be on that shit like Diddy Kong. But anyway, if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content like this. But I will see all of you dudes in the next video. Peace.